Good morning, everyone. My name is Peter Giganti from Jesus is Lord Fellowship Church in Tom's River. And this is Virus Verse Verses. Today, I would like to talk to you about some scriptures that speak about the hope in Jesus Christ to get us through the tough times that we're going through in this pandemic with the COVID-19. I know sometimes it's confusing when we're listening to um, the news uh, telling us what the government's doing and what the government's saying. Sometimes we hear it. Obviously, we hear it on Facebook, Twitter, uh, and all the other uh, social medias. Uh, friends, people we know, we hear, we work with, just so much information and and sometimes we don't know what to believe and what not to believe. Uh, I think we can all say we know that this is real, that people have it, and there have been people who died from it. Um, troubles that we're going through, some of them can be a lot more serious than this. Uh, for instance, when a loved one has the disease, or you have it yourself, and we go through all the doubts, the fears, the fear of what's going to happen. Am I going to, you know, live? Am I going to die? Uh, am I going to give it to someone? Um, and the many other fears, I couldn't explain them all because I have not had it by God's grace, and so I cannot speak for them completely, obviously. So. What does Jesus say about this and about helping us through it? Well, he says, have hope in him. The hope that can keep us focused on him instead of ourselves and our troubles. I don't mean to not pay attention to uh, serious struggles that we're going through. Uh, what I'm saying is lean on the hope that is Christ to get through it with the assurance that he is here with us to lean on for encouragement, for support, for guidance. And we do this by prayer, spending time with him in the word, a quiet time, um, sharing our struggles with others who uh, also are going through them, and who know the Lord and, and know how to use the Lord, uh, know how to lean on him, excuse me. Um, one of the scriptures I found is Isaiah forty thirty one, and it says, But they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. I know for me, strength is something that I need when I'm going through struggles. I have had people who I love uh, who had this, um, there is a brother in Christ in my church who may have it. He has all the symptoms right now, but his test hasn't come through. We, we don't know what the results are yet. Um, but if we wait on him and don't try to handle all this stuff on our own, we will be able to know what the right thing is to do because he will tell us if we wait long enough and we don't rely on our own understanding, but rely on his word, that can be a comfort. It is a comfort if we truly wait on him and we truly focus on him and wait to see what he wants us to do. Believe me, he will tell you. And it could be uh, personally, it could be through someone, um, there are many ways that he uses, uh, but he will let you know if you wait on him and you listen. We have to remember that Romans 28 says, God, um, God says, and we know that all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So again, waiting on him, we, will, we, we can uh, expect these things to happen. We can, we can expect all things to work for good. It may not be what we think is good, 
Those of you who know the Lord uh, know what I'm talking about. It's not always the way we want it, but it is always the way that's best. Sometimes that's hard to believe, but if we wait on the Lord, we will know. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. So God has already given us a reason for hope. And if we don't wait on him to tell us his plan for us, then how are we going to know what it is? I don't think this is only our life plan. I think it can be used for each situation that comes along. Uh, the plan God has for that, because his plan has steps in it. And he tells us step by step how to get, how to go through his plan. Um, it also says, um, 12, 12, I'm sorry, Romans 12, 12 says, Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, and constant in prayer. And Hebrews 11, 1 says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. All of these scriptures speak about trusting the Lord and that he will be there with us. He will be there for us. He will make all things for good. We can trust his word. Uh, sometimes that's hard to see. Sometimes that's hard to believe. But those of us who have been through it, uh, it's true. So uh, for those of you who do not know the Lord and are listening, I pray that you will take the time to just ask him to show himself to you, and he will. He just wants you to be open and willing. And he will come to you and he will let you know who he is and that he loves you. Because every single one of you, he loves. And he wants you to have the comfort and the peace that comes from knowing his son, Jesus Christ. And believing what he did for us, dying on the cross for our sins. And being risen, and being raised on the third day to free us from death. Thank you, Lord, that you have provided all we need to get through this pandemic as well as any other struggles that we go through. And we all have many. We know that your word is truth, so we know that we can stand on it and not doubt or without hesitation. Father, we pray for all the people out there that have this illness and for all the loved ones that we have that have this illness, that you would take it away, that you would heal every one of them and you would remove this virus from the whole world. That you would ease everyone's pain, that you would give them peace, the peace that is beyond all understanding, which only you can give us, because it comes from you and not the world. Father, we pray these things in the name of Jesus, which is the name, is the only name by which we can be saved, and by the blood of Jesus, which is the only blood that can wash us clean. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. The Holy Spirit, we thank you. Amen.